What's up guys, this is the Rolling and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So to run off where we left off, we are intercepting an army of the Plains Nations Peoples. These are one of the only, one of the few remaining factions in the game. So this army would be nice if we could chew up their field army, then we have another army in good condition to advance forth and finally kill them. They have no well, they have some reinforcing bowmen that are depleted. Actually, this is the garrison that's coming into their aid. So this is kind of ideal. So let's fight. So this is one of my American armies that was recruited originally because they've got lots of native... Well, not native, but uh, US. And once this army has been completed, they too will be shipped to the front in India for the final conquest. Oh, hmm. Fair one, James Madison. So get ready with the guns. Let's keep our line steady with the second New York and a whole bunch of line infantry. Let's put it's a pretty bad place for a gun. I'm tempted to put this last gun emplacement up here on the hill behind me. They'll just keep firing round shot. Which means I will have my Continental Marines. Make up the force on the right. And they're looking good. Backed up by some regulars. Ooh, and that's a nice spot for some for my long riflemen to run up and take, I believe. And the Philadelphia Light Cavalry can hold the flanks. These are the Companions and Second Lady Washington's Horse. Let's get a foot artillery in position. General in the centre between the artillery. fortuitous for a number of reasons because it, reasons, it would allow us to have a force to hold off against. Which are other reinforcements coming from? Eh. Might put these in reserve then. Because my long riflemen are probably more than adequate. Because I would like them. If I put them here, they'd be able to do a lot of damage to any forces trying to charge on the left. The mounted tribal gunners, which are dangerous for my cavalry, not my cavalry, my infantry, so no, wait, no, they are dangerous for my cavalry, I'm being silly. So let's pull these guys back, pull my cavalry back, because I'd rather they get engaged by my Infantry, and let's get this chap firing quick line onto this unit of Chieftain's bodyguard. These are the reinforcing bodyguard as well, I think. Let's target this final foot artillery for this unit of tribal gunners. Nice, let's get these chaps to fire shot from shot, which might be a bad idea based on the terrain. Got to get over this ridge line. You do. Excellent. Lots of good damage. Let's get my foot artillery to go to fire over here to help support my line infantry. Shrapnel's done its job, so let's switch to round shot and set to fire it well again. Good. Second, 20th main volunteers engage that damn chief's body out. And engage them if they want to. They're on the charge as well. So this unit forms square. Based on what these tribal gunners may decide to do. These chaps can just maintain. Are they just out of range? Just. Okay, let's get these guys back out of square. And be ready to engage the enemy melee forces. There they are. You know they're too far away, strictly speaking, for cannons to shot. 
I still feel it's warranted. So the howitzer can continue to engage that unit. Okay, here come the Native American warriors. Russian volunteers. Okay, let's do something like this. Let's run my militia volunteers over here. Under the assumption that my men. Ooh. Charge the companions of the tribal gunners. Position these chaps ready to engage whoever may come up. Let's get my cover over on the left. Philadelphia Lights, we're gonna get Charge into the Native American warriors. There's okay, this is how it's this is what it's devolved into. Keep going around shot. Let's charge straight in. Running against the Native American warriors. Yeah, some of my, my individual units may begin to suffer. So my long riflemen can engage the musketmen. It is of critical importance that I get my troops over here. Although it looks like they are going to get absolutely hammered because they've snuck up in good order. It's no good them forming. Okay, you shoot them. Good. So you guys form your line. Kind of shot the support. flank is broken. They are going to get chewed up so we need to support our centre. I think I needed to be more aggressive with my cavalry patrols. Because this is what they are absolutely best at. Okay. Pull back. Charge into them, the rest of you charge into the melee. These are my marines. Ooh, my cavalry is beating their warriors, but I want them to nail it back here rapidly. This is why <laughs> Native American factions can be so so disruptive, because if they charge in and hit the line, then damn, you can't beat them. Like I could hit the musketman, but I need to hit with this cavalry unit. I'm probably going to hit some of my own dudes. Are routing an incredibly inefficient direction. I 
first sight is gone. Go up to the medicine man. Actually, these guys I think are still good to route, otherwise if we don't they'll just get caught out. Come on General. So we need to get them slightly on the flank and then hard in. Me on the flank and hope I can get a chain route. General's dead. So yes, I think even if I can, if I can manage to beat this army, I think the reinforcing army is enough. Like. These guys could do something, but I don't they couldn't they can't make them route themselves. Again, my minimum are routing. Long way from when I get in a paste in general's body got his routing and general's dead. Yeah, need to get out of dodge. So speed up time. This is why I wanted to have two armies. Although it looks like they're, they're going to catch my artillery. Because they're routing silly directions. To be honest, they're more than welcome to catch my artillery. Except we've done significant damage to them at this time. So with the next force, uh, I can I can deal with... I can deal with the rest of them. Chief's bodyguard after the long rifleman. Yeah, fair enough, doing what a good AI should do. You should have abandoned your guns. Valiant defeat. Meh. Whatever's left. Um, but that standing army's been pasted. So they've lost... They've lost half their force. They've got 1,900 remaining. So even though I my force is beating a retreat... Oh, wow. Okay, I'm just going to water that. Yeah, yeah, it's not the best, best exchange ratio. I mean, if they want to keep chasing us... Then I think they've done a very silly thing. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to send my army around to flank them. And they've left their capital undefended. Yeah, definitely why I wanted two armies. Because could you imagine the, the time, how frustrating it would be. Workers will strike India but first, because that bugged me actually. Craft workshop. So, America. This army's right here. Trapped. So they got some damaged bowmen. They got Native American warriors, but lots of mob. Uh, I think I've got I've got to assault it really. Otherwise, they'll just come back and make it even more frustrating. So let's get ready to attack Yankton. Although I'm so I think I need to do a cavalry, not hold them to fend off their cavalry, but run them into their deployment zone to show their troops. trees that are concerning. So I may move over here. I can do something about the trees. Deploy all my indirect artillery behind the hill. More sort of guns, which I'm probably going to just deploy over here as well. Put something like some scouts in my 
between. Deploy the remains of my infantry on the left. Rogers Rangers will go up front. General behind. Cavalry move through here. So something like this. Let's get my rangers up in the trees ahead of the line. And let's get my light cavalry on the move. Let's start to skirmish them with my lights. The rockets are firing. So let's send in my light cavalry. To do some damage. Because right now, as long as we can just keep them keep some units spotted, then charge the musket men, go for a quick win. Pull my cavalry back. Who are you shooting at? Either way. Either way, we've got significantly more of them spotted. So now my the machine work of modern war can go to work. Really? Wavering? Just four men. Let's keep my cavalry moving. Probably move these guys around like so. If I can. Let's pivot you guys back somewhat. Oh no, they seem super keen to kill my cavalry, so fortunately they're not. I mean, this could get a bit dicey. Over here and take the other bone. Rockets carry on being rockets. Let's run my cavalry behind my line to draw in their infantry and let's redeploy them over onto the right. Because now their infantry is not approaching by stealth. Dancing to our tune now, Native Americans. The white man comes with gunpowder and rockets. Very danger close. Spin these guys about a bit. They are going to make. Make landfall. Nope, they are not. It's warish society being shot at. Thanks to the determination to run slowly. Oh, here come the garrison warriors. Maybe the 95th Regiment of Foot may reload in time to provide some deadly firepower into their ranks before they make contact with our lines. Fire! Oh yes. Made it so close. Final rank. There we go. A 
properly orchestrated battle against the native factions looks like this. And the general is three strong unit of general's bodyguard. Okay, let's run these guys into the warrior society in two, so they don't get too outnumbered. Let's gun my cavalry out towards their general. I wouldn't be surprised if we got some sort of morale bonus once we got into contact, because that's exactly what these guys do. But now we are the one who outnumbered them. And I believe their general was the sole remaining unit, so chase them down. While our artillery continues to continues to harass. I think that's it. So let's speed up time. There's probably going to be some hidden troops around somewhere. Yeah, get the native bowmen as they're on the way. Aha! There's always another. There's always some more. Let's speed up time a bit to get them back into the picture a bit more speedily. These bowmen aren't even firing. Good. General's dead. Chase down the bowmen. Switch to quick climb. I suspect these units may not even make it to the uh, to the front line. Maybe a bit more. Chase down the garrison warriors. Bash. God, those went flying. They're impetuous. They're probably going to do. Ooh, they're doing a lot of damage. Just run for it. Run for it towards our lines. Because that will be enough to draw them in. Troops made it. Shattered by tremendous amounts of musket fire. So speed up time because right now it's just. Oh, yep, they've all routed anyway. Sweet. That's how a native battle. Battle against native. Approach by stealth and get quickly to your lines. Then. They can be quite devastating. So let's destroy the gunsmith. Our spy can continue spying. Let's bring you down to here. Destroy the communal farming. Upgrade the fur trapper post. And build some infrastructure. So now there's only two factions in the game. Russia is under siege. But I do think it would be fun to engage in a giant battle against these Russian forces because it feels unbefitting were I to just ignore them. So rather than sail straight on to do that, let's take Can you not sail out? Set sail. Ready and waiting. Underway. Oh, it's graphics snafu. Okay. Ready for action. Get into the Baltic and let's start transporting troops Forward. to India. The final unleashing of the entire might of the American armed forces. The Russians have a navy, but to be honest, I don't care. I don't really need a navy. It's not really something that does a lot for me. Ooh. Any further orders? Godwin Chanside, you can probably take on both of those Head guys now. Okay, you get to, you get to the port. Let us take a sloop. 
No. They could have taken another arm, another unit of infantry. Hmm. Um, can we catch up? We should be able to catch up. Yeah. Let's get these guys embarked. Anything more? Good. Two more stacks going to India, and I also see a bit of a lag spike there. Here are a few more. Sean Lincoln. I mean, I know it's a bit, it's a bit of a, it's already a bit unnecessary, like these amount of troops. But you know, I think I may as well. I've spent the money. To have them all this game, I may as well deploy them. So let's take one of these sloops out for now. And with Arnold, you embark. Forward, march. Sloop Achilles. India. Ooh, and to be honest, let's take the St. Petersburg garrison. Forward. March. Yes. Which I will remove this militia make and ready. add in the infantry and grenadiers. Make ready. Any orders? So it's five stacks. So en route to India. Now the Marathas are still... Uh, yes, they are continuing... Well, they've not actually got to Algiers, so let's move these troops I'm recruiting here. Forward for crown and country. Let's embark them onto the ships. Set them to deploy. That may just be the trigger to get them to attack the city themselves, but we've got to take the risk to build some militia. Um, or. Nathan Inglis, your services are no longer required. Gdansk forces are, are in bad condition. Yeah, go on, have a coach again. Sir. Mop up Sign. this little marauding stack. Undaunted. There's no point. Undefeated. Good old Roger Adley. Sonic Corellier with Leslie Oliver. You can also get to the port and next turn you will build a sloop to ferry them to India. Let's repair the naval hospital and let's destroy the university. Good stuff. So let's get on to India. You're recruiting aren't you? Oh you're not. Uh, what have they got? Infantry and Delhi horsemen. Go for some a unit of household cavalry. Okay, let's do general. Two household cavalry and a bunch of light dragoons. And then let's get. Well, they can't recruit horse artillery. Let's get a unit of light dragoons. There we go. Cavalry raiding army to mop up any swines. Although actually, you could probably send to do that. Nope, your position is too important at the front line. Get into the Forward. fort. March. Okay. You require a new general. And you require everything fixed. And you also require everything fixed. 
Get some Indian mercenaries. Ooh, Sepoys are quite good. But where four turns, where would they be coming from? Probably up here, I suppose. You guys replenish, Sir. you guys... Yeah, that's exactly where they're going. You are not going to make it across. Forward. Sir. Norbert Jackson's army. Generally in good shape. At the ready. You can have these troops and you will be ready to form part of our counter-push. Ceylon could probably do with making an army to land somewhere on the south coast. Although, to be honest, armies are a bit redundant because I'm going to have a whole bunch of them showing up. Plus, I've got all these guys who will need to break through the front. But first, let's pick this army because it looks pretty goddamn badass. Let's move you up to here. Let's move you up to here. Me. Move everyone Order. up, effectively. Eli Bell, engage Stefan Semyonov. So this will be the final battle of the Russian Empire, because then their final city will be taken. And what is it? About 12,000-ish versus 9,000. And we've got a whole bunch of very elite troops. They've got some troops, and they're going to start having loads of artillery creeping in. Um, but we will be just fine. But, clicking the timer, and by no coincidence, it is the end of the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the final battle. Pretty much the final main battle of the Russian Empire. Cheers, guys.